me, nothing beats arriving into a city for the first time and getting lost in its streets to let it get under my skin. That is exactly what I did since I got here in Ghent, a city where history whispers from every corner and modern vibes pulse through the streets. Join me as I dive into the heart of Ghent and let the charming city reveal itself one enchanting street at a time. Second day here in Ghent and it's cold and it's raining but it's still so beautiful. I, I slept in this morning because uh, I had a lot of fun last night, met, met up with some locals, just had a, a lot of fun. But anyways, super hungry, got myself some uh, Hawaiian poke bowl food and I'm going back to the hotel. Now, getting ready for a Zoom meeting that I have in 50 minutes. Thursday afternoon here in Ghent, so happy to be here. It's such a beautiful city doesn't even compare to Brussels. I've been to Brussels and Bruges. I love Bruges, but this is so beautiful too. A lot of people refer to it as like a mini Amsterdam. And what I love about here is that there are more pedestrians and cyclers than uh, cars. So it's really safe and it's really fun to walk around. Ghent presents a striking blend of historical grandeur and contemporary vibrancy that sets it apart from its more frequented neighbors, Bruges and Brussels. This city is unique in its ability to balance its rich medieval history with a lively modern culture, making it a fascinating destination. This city is also renowned for its vibrant art scene, the Museum of Fine Arts MSK and the Contemporary Art Museum SMAC lie at opposite ends of a park and together form a cultural axis that reflects both the city's historical depth and its current day creativity. This duality is a hallmark of Ghent, where street art and music festivals like the Ghent Sophiston, Europe's largest cultural festival, bring the city to life in a riot of colors and sounds each summer. But perhaps what truly sets Ghent apart is its commitment to sustainability and community living. The city center is largely car-free, making it one of Europe's largest pedestrian zones. Bicycles rule the cobbled streets and the local government's initiatives to maintain the city's green spaces, promote public transportation and support local businesses, highlight Ghent's forward-thinking attitude towards urban living. This day in Ghent barely scratched the surface, but it is time to go to Ostend and we will be back to Ghent for more, I promise. This statue is called the Mask of Ensor, a Belgian painter known for his eccentric and provocative style. He was born here and he often featured masks and skeletons in his artwork, using them to critique societal norms and bourgeois hypocrisy. This is the St. Peter and St. Paul Cathedral. 
It's a striking example of neo-Gothic architecture. This majestic church was constructed in the early 20th century to replace a previous church that had burned down. Its twin spires and splendid stained glass windows dominate the city skyline, serving as a poignant memorial to Belgium's first queen, Louise Marie, who is honored with a statue inside. The cathedral's grand design and rich historical associations make it a key landmark and a focal point of spiritual life in Ostend. about 8 p.m. still light out and there's no one in the streets there's some people in restaurants but there's it's like the opposite of my nightlife experience in Ghent <laughs> my hotel is called upstairs hotel really cool by the beach so this is where I'm gonna go now you know it's really nice to be here in Belgium at this time of year not too many people i can't imagine what it would be like in the summer if there is a hit another hidden gem to belgium this would be it ostend it's actually a bigger city than ghent beautiful people too out here At Upstairs Hotel, they embrace the lush, vibrant decor inspired by the world's jungles, transforming your stay into a tropical getaway. Step outside and you're just moments from the beautiful sands of Boston Beach, perfect for those who crave the sun and sea. I felt at all with Ostend's understated beauty. Ostend is more than just a dot on the map. It's a hidden seaside sanctuary that I had the pleasure of exploring. And as I meandered through its charming streets along these tranquil shores, I discovered what makes this city truly special. I absolutely love strolling down the beach promenade, breathe in a gentle sea breeze and listen to the soothing sounds of the waves. And oh my gosh, aren't these seals so cute? Apparently seal populations are increasingly seen here on the Belgian coast, benefiting from improvements in water quality and nature conservation efforts. Changes in fishing practices or the available food supply also influenced the presence and behavior of these seals. And as cute and beautiful as they might be, they're wild animals and it is essential to leave them alone. Beach! You guys, it's absolutely spectacular. It looks cold, but it's actually pretty warm today compared to yesterday. So I'm really excited. I just saw some seals over there. I did a post this morning about uh, the hotel I'm staying at and I just wanted to add that that hotel, that same brand is also in New York City. The service is impeccable. I got up late, I actually missed breakfast. Breakfast is from 7 to 11, I missed it, but they still let me have it. They still let me have breakfast, that was so nice. I came to Ostendes just to see the beach, just to sit on the beach for a little bit you know me 
Uh, I, I don't do well in cities for very long. I'm only here for the day. I'm going back to Ghent later this afternoon. There's also something else that I wanted to share with you guys. And it has nothing to do with here. It just has to do with train tickets. So I noticed that if you actually buy your train tickets directly from the ticket booth at the train station instead of using the app, it's still cheaper to buy it directly at a ticket booth. I've made the comparison all the way from Paris to here. And at every train station, the case was the same, where it's cheaper to buy. I mean, you know, if you're like on a budget, I'm just sharing that so that you guys know. Enjoy the views. Here are some fun facts for you that I've learned since I got here about Ostend. Ostend used to be the royal summer residence. It was once the favorite summer getaway for Belgian royalty. The royal galleries, which stretch along the beachfront, were built in the early 1900s to allow King Leopold II and his guests to walk sheltered from the wind and the weather. Ostend is also the home of the famous Belgian painter James Enzor, who spent much of his life here. His former home is now a museum dedicated to his life and work, showcasing his unique contributions to the art world, particularly in the field of expressionism and modern art. Also, did you know that Ostend was Marvin Gaye's creative retreat? In the early 1980s, American soul singer Marvin Gaye lived in Ostend to recover from personal and professional turmoil. During his time in the city, he recorded the iconic song, Sexual Healing. Here's another one for you. Ostend is also the largest city on the Belgian coast and serves as a major ferry port, as well as a hub for fishing and marine trade. Ostend is also the site of the world's first international beauty contest. In 1888, Ostend hosted what is considered to be the world's first international beauty contest, an event that has since evolved into the modern pageants that we are familiar with today. Ah, here we are at Leopold Park, a lush oasis offering a quiet retreat from the sunny beach. I really enjoyed walking through this park. It was beautiful. Time seemed to stand still among the serene paths and shaded benches. Next, a visit to the Mercator ship was a highlight of the day. This stored vessel has seen more of the world than most of us ever will, and it stands proudly docked as a testament to maritime adventure and history. As the day unfolded, I indulged in the simple pleasures of gelato and waffles, each flavor a new discovery and a perfect companion to my leisurely exploration of Ostende.
My time in Ostend is already coming to an end. I'm heading back to the train station, which is only 15 minutes walk from uh, the hotel, upstairs hotel. So if you ever come to Ostend, uh, one day might not be enough. Two days, yes. I came here to see the beach and mission accomplished. Loved it. Did a little bit of exploring of the city and some shopping. Pretty happy with my time here. My route back to the train station took me past the majestic St. Petrus and Pauluskirk, where inside I experienced a profound moment of clarity. Immediate answers to my prayers that reminded me of the mysterious ways in which this journey was more than just physical. So I hope you enjoyed the vistas and the stories as you visited this city with me. Ostend, a hidden gem where every corner tells a tale and every moment is a brushstroke on the canvas of memory. Thank you.